Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone XR and compare it against the iPhone 8 Plus and see which specific phone you should go and pick up in 2023. Now, both these phones kind of have their own things going for them. I don't really think, you know, the iPhone 8 Plus is a better phone in any way than the iPhone XR, but I will tell you there's probably one advantage. The price tag of the iPhone 8 Plus is cheaper than the XR, but we'll kind of take a look at that throughout this video. If you want to pick up some phones, I would recommend buying this here, though. Links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off with the outside of both these phones, the iPhone 8 Plus that came out in 2017 on the front has a 5.5 inch Retina IPS panel on the front. And it's an overall pretty good looking screen. I've always felt like, you know, Apple did a really good job for the most part with these iPhones. Again, they kind of aged probably not the best, but I would say for the most part, it could have been worse. You know, you had a pretty okay display it was fairly large for the most part. You had a bezel at the top and bottom, the home button right here, which was centered. And overall, I definitely still think it's a pretty good looking phone. I mean, it's definitely not ugly. And you know, definitely I'm glad they switched away from this type of design, but I still have a lot of love for this type of design too. On the iPhone XR, on the other hand, we're getting a bigger 6.1 inch Retina IPS panel. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is that the iPhone XR actually has a lower resolution than the iPhone you know, 8 Plus but I would still rather take this type of display than the iPhone 8 Plus. I think the 8 Plus's display is better, but this phone just looks better. You know, you're getting that notch for better or for worse. You're getting a little tiny bit of bezel around the whole entire display, but I still like the iPhone XR, and I think this phone looks visually better than the iPhone 8 Plus when it comes down to it. That kind of covers it up there. Now, the iPhone 8 Plus was a, a bigger phone overall than the iPhone XR, so that's kind of one of those other things to keep in mind too. You were getting probably a thinner phone on the iPhone uh, on the iPhone 8 Plus, but it was a bigger phone, so it's kind of one of those things. You were getting lightning ports at the bottom of both them right here, and on the back of both these phones, they look very good. Now my iPhone 8 Plus has completely cracked as you guys can see, but I still think in this day and age, Apple did a really good job on the design of both these devices. Now one funny thing was that the iPhone XR, which came out a year after, had a single camera setup, and the iPhone 8 Plus had a dual camera setup. So that was something that was always very weird. A lot of people during that time were upset about it, and rightfully so. You know, I think the 10R should have had a dual camera setup from the get-go, but clearly Apple didn't do that. We have the Apple logos right here, which still look very good. We have, like I said, full-on glass backs between both of them. We have wireless charging on both phones, which is beautiful. We have IP certification on both of them, and they both feel very, very premium. There's really not a lot to kind of complain about with these two phones on the outside, you know, in terms of the age of them. Of course, these things don't have like 120 hertz displays or anything like that that's crazy, but I still think Apple did a good job with both these designs and it still has a lot of respect in my opinion. So from that standpoint, that kind of covers it up there. Now, in terms of software and support and updates in the future, this is going to be one of the more complicated things between both these devices. So with the iPhone 8 Plus, I'm pretty sure this thing is not going to last as long as the iPhone XR, but the thing that Apple's kind of been doing recently is that they've been cutting their phones off in twos. So the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, they stopped support at the same time. iPhone 6S and 7 stopped support at the same time. The iPhone 10 and iPhone XR, if those were to end at the same time, well, the iPhone 8 Plus would also be included because that's also an iPhone that's basically in that same you know range. So I will probably tell you from that standpoint, a phone like the iPhone 8 Plus really isn't completely, you know, going to be supported, I don't think, that much longer. But if Apple's doing the same thing over and over again, maybe the iPhone XR won't be supported either. Who knows? I'm not 100% too sure in that standpoint. But one thing is for sure, these two phones are still supported right now. And even though the iPhone 8 Plus probably won't be lasting that much longer, who knows? I'm pretty sure that the iPhone XR is going to outlast the iPhone 8 Plus when it comes down to it. So let's go and do a speed comparison now. The iPhone 8 Plus has that Apple A11 Bionic chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone XR has that Apple A12 Bionic chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM as well. So let's go see which one's the faster phone between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background. Let's get into it. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Okay, about the same thing. Music, 3, 2, 1. Okay, iPhone 8 Plus. I think slightly faster there, which is surprising. App stores, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone XR was faster there. iPhone 8 Plus slightly slower. Scrolling through here, you can kind of see that I think the iPhone XR was probably the faster one loading through. The iPhone 8 Plus a little bit behind. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's do settings, three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing. Hopping out of here. Clock, three, two, one. Okay, let's go and hop out of here. Totally messing some things up. Let's do photos, three, two, one. 
Okay, perfect. So many pop-ups on these phones, it's insane. Let's go get into another application. We can try Subway Surfers 321. And the iPhone XR, I think, was probably the faster one there. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go and try Genshin Impact 321. Now, as I've always stated, this is a big game, so it's going to take probably a little bit of time. But the thing with both these applications is they're both going to be a little slow when running the actual game. But the bigger difference is probably in terms of how fast it's going to take to load them up. And they were almost identically the same. So it's funny because the iPhone XR does look a lot newer than the iPhone 8 Plus. But you're kind of getting, like, not the biggest difference here. Call of Duty Mobile 321. Now, this game could take a very long amount of time, so we'll just wait until it kind of gets into like a very similar panel between both that we can kind of see. And so far, iPhone XR did kind of get into this panel a little bit faster than the iPhone 8 Plus. But the thing I will tell you is, is that I do think that a phone like the iPhone you know, 8 Plus is still pretty fast. I mean, you're still getting like decent speeds. It's not like it's extremely like unusably slow. But with a phone like the iPhone XR, you are getting overall a faster phone. I feel like this application is going to prove me wrong and the iPhone XR is going to be slower. And it kind of was actually in the beginning with, and we're getting pop-ups. Okay, so we did get a pop-up here. We're going to have to go through here. But I don't think that affected the loading speed, but I think it might have because you can kind of see that the iPhone XR is now ahead. So very, very weird stuff. But I do think the iPhone XR is probably the overall faster phone. But the iPhone 8 Plus has done a great job with its you know versioning of software right now. And I do think it's still a very fast phone when it comes down to it. So that kind of covers it up there. Now, in the camera department, like I mentioned before, when the iPhone XR first came out, people were upset because it only had a single camera setup. With a phone like the iPhone 8 Plus, you were getting a wide-angle lens and a telephoto lens. With the iPhone XR, you were getting just a single wide-angle lens. So although the camera is better probably overall on the iPhone XR, the iPhone 8 Plus still had that ability of having an extra lens, which is so nice, and it's a super nice feature to have. Now, with a phone like the iPhone 8 Plus, the thing I like a lot about this specific phone that you do have, you know, that telephoto lens. That's super nice. You still have photo mode, video mode, slow mode, time lapse, and you still have portrait mode and square mode as well. So this is still a very good phone that you have, and that's something that I really do like. It's a good camera. It's not the best camera, but it's still a fairly good camera when it comes down to it, and that's something that's really cool. On the iPhone XR, on the other hand, you were getting very similar features to the iPhone 8 Plus. The only thing that you were kind of a little bit lacking in was basically with its, you know, if I'm being honest, it was basically the, you know, single angle, this was a single camera. If this thing had a different camera lens or if it had an extra camera lens, that would have been very cool. But unfortunately here, we didn't really have that type of capability. You got video mode, slow mode, time lapse, you got portrait mode and panorama mode as well. So those things were actually really awesome. And in my opinion, that's something that stands out to me that a lot of people, you know, probably agree with as well. So when it kind of comes down to it, what I'll definitely tell you is, a phone like the iPhone XR, it's a very, very good phone. I like this phone a lot, and it probably stands out the most of being one of probably the better phones that have came out from Apple for the price tag. It was kind of expensive, but it got down in price tag quite a bit, and now it's probably available for like $200. With a phone like the iPhone 8 Plus, I think this is a very, very good phone, and I like this phone a lot. It's not perfect, but I really do think it gets the job done, and it's a fairly solid phone when it comes down to it. So in terms of that, that kind of covers up both of these devices. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.